Hi, I'm Hazel and you are about to be that one raider that knows what's up. This video is all about ANR the Life Finder on normal and heroic difficulty. As a plot twist, we don't actually fight ANR, nor do we heal her. For combat purposes, she actually does very little. This is a tower defense fight, which basically means that streams of demons are going to be marching in on ANR and it's our job to stop them. Killing demons powers up her life energy bar, and at 100 energy she wipes everything and gives us presents. A key thing to be familiar with for this fight is where and when the ads spawn so that you can get there and do your thing. We'll go over the order in this guide, but on live servers a boss mod add-on like DBM should be on top of it. You can also see the next wave on the map as a tiny green demon icon, but that is both really tiny and not necessarily as much notice as you might want. The room map looks like this. There's a top lane, a mid lane, and a bottom lane, and ads spawn at the ends of each of those lanes. I'm going to call those spawn points top, mid, and bottom. You enter the room here by the mid spawn point. On PTR, the active point order was as listed on the screen now. It's possible that the order could be different on live, so again, have a boss mod installed and use that to plan your raid movement. Once you're inside, you'll notice that this map is both huge and vertically challenging. To help you get around, there's two things to take advantage of. The first one is the jump pads, which look like this. Run into those for a boost onto an upper platform. There's four of them in the room at these locations, and they're a huge help to getting around. The second thing is your extra action button, Surge of Life. That'll also kick you up in the air at your convenience and then let you glide. Pressing the button again will land you. The Paraxis is that annoying legion ship that you might remember from Argus, and just like on Argus, we can't kill it or make it go away. It's going to be doing its paraxis -y thing throughout the fight, and the raid just needs to do these mechanics. Paraxis Artillery is random, unavoidable, and rather painful ping damage to the raid. You gotta give the healers something to do. Reign of Fell is this big green circle that will target several players at once. They need to move out and spread out to avoid blasting the raid with that AoE. On Heroic, you'll also get Spears of Doom. Those will laser down some fire paths that hurt to stand in and buff the demon's run speed. Those used to target players and be kiteable, but it appears that they now just do their thing and need to be avoided. Let's look at the demons. Most of them won't even look at you. These basic legion forces will not turn to attack players and they just march along towards ANR. They have varying levels of health and movement speed depending on the exact type of demon. They can and should be CC'd, so dust off your tar traps, your mind bombs, frost novas, Ursal's vortex, all that good stuff. Kill the demons to protect ANR and build her energy bar. Of special note is the Volant Coraptoron, which is some kind of nerd name for a demon bat. Those fly. For most of their path, they fly out of range of melee, so range DPS will need to be ready and swap to those when they're up. We've also got a couple different types of fancy demons that will actually fight you. We can't have our tanks getting bored. Fell infused destructors need to be tanked or else they do huge damage to ANR. Tank them, kill them, and move on with your life. Now, I want to meet whoever decided to put the word sessile in the dungeon journal. If you're not familiar, and I wasn't, sessile means fixed in one place, like a barnacle. Now I'm sad that they're standard demon mechs and not like a giant fell barnacle. That would have been cooler. Fell charged obfuscators can also be tanked, and those make any nearby demons invisible. A tank needs to pick this up and drag it away from the flow of ads. You want to kill those to get your tank back before you need them again. On Heroic, you'll also see the Fell Powered Purifier. That one will make nearby ads immune to CC, which is a big no no. It also does a whopping frontal cleave. Again, tank that away from the other ads and face it away from players and kill it. Maybe use a mitigation cooldown for that Fell Swipe, that hurts. So, that is ANR the Life Finder in Antorus the Burning Throne. This wins points for being the most unique fight that we've seen in a couple of raids, as well as having the most gorgeous arena to fight in. If this video helped you out, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Check out my channel and subscribe for more raid guides and other useful wow videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!